my technique on, on the coating to not make a big mess is I'll get my tray on there and then I'll stand my screen off. I gotta get my collar. I'll stand my screen off, okay? And then I'll lay it back down and I coat very slowly. It's not a race on screens. Then what I do is stand it up at the end to shear it off so I'm not dripping to make a big mess. This is, I've never taught anybody new how to do screens that hasn't made a big mess. It's just your first couple times, you're going to get it all over. You're not doing anything different than anybody else. Uh, practice makes perfect on coating screens. And I still make a mess. So anyways, we're on our second coat. Again, very slowly. And then I like to stand it up at the end to shear it off so I'm not making a mess. Then I'll flip it. My final coat is going to be on the inside. Again, very slowly. Now, on the, because I'm doing it on the inside last, I'm forcing most of my emulsion to be on the print side of the screen. Okay? So now, when we dry it, I want to dry it so it's dripping down. Uh, a lot of people will take and coat a screen and just lean it up against the wall. Gravity's not helping you because mm -hmm. it's dragging it down. Here, I've got gravity helping me bring it to the bottom of the screen. 